Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. Now, a while ago we have made the card uh, using uh, the uh, Kind Eclectics stamp set. So this is the card that we made. We also made a handbag to go with the card, so um, you can put your uh, cards in there. But what I'm also planning on making is this tiny little box. It fits just um, a tea light, so that's a perfect little gift. So look out for that one. But what we're going to make today is a box, a mini box using the uh, Stamping Up gift box punch board. So I have a piece of paper that's 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to make a box that is 3 inch 25 by 325 by 175 and that means I need a paper that's 8 by 8 I'm going to start at large and I'm going to do the diagonal line at small so large um, oh, I always forget to take my score out oh I don't need the extender so that's okay so large you punch and you score vertically uh, no, that's horizontally, then you score vertically, and then you score at the small. Because that's what it said on our uh, chart here. Large, small. So turn, punch, horizontal, vertical, small. Same thing. Horizontal, vertical, and small. And you do this all the way around so that you have all your score lines. And all you need to do then is nick out these ones here. So you could turn over your page, that's what they say on the thing, but I can see them well enough to just quickly. punch them in there. God, it's hard if you can't actually lean over. Right, okay, so that's that. And then we are going to also, this time, create the clasps for closing the box. So we insert the lid, the corner, gently into the reverse punch and that gives us a rounded edge and a little thing there that will uh, then be used to um, clasp the edges together. So as we are going to be folding inwards towards the mountain. This is going to be our outside and that's what we are going to decorate. So I'm going to start with using my crumb cake. I'm using the same the in colours of 2014-2016 um, so blackberry bliss, mossy meadow and uh, hello honey. Um, and then uh, we'll add some uh, butterflies. Yeah I think I did those in, in blackberry bliss so that's all the colours we need. So we've got um, uh, for our background, we are going to ink up our embossing folder. This is the hexagon embossing folder. And we're just going to lay it down. I'm not being particularly careful here, I'm just getting some background on there. Um, there we go, and then a bit more here. As long as there is something there. Alright, these edges here. You can, if you're very careful, line them up again. And if you have more time, I'm not going to be doing that now for the video. You could do you could do that. Um, if you have more time. This just cleans off with a little bit of water or some um, wet wipe, that's fine. 
Okay, so I think I might just spend some time edging the uh, actual edges that we're going to see. So that's the box lids here, because I know I'll be forgetting that later on. Right, there we go. And now we are going to score or reinforce the uh, score line. So we're just going to burnish the score lines in that direction. And in this direction. And now we can see very clearly where we're going to be stamping. So let me take out the green, the mossy meadow. And um, I like to make sure that I don't have any sort of on the bottom. So let's do it like this. See, then we have nothing there. So it stays nice and clean. going to do the um, sun image on here but to be honest I think it's just too big. No, I think it could work. Let's see if, if we could uh, possibly have that on there. Okay. This one isn't very easy to ink up so you always need to check this one carefully. So let's do it like this. Yeah, that's okay. That looks good. And this way you keep a clean bottom, you see. Um, that maybe sounded different than what I meant, but <laughs> yes, that's what I mean. The bottom of your box stays nice and clean. There we go. Right. I mean, if you want to, you can just do it any old how. You don't need to do the folding beforehand and then do the stamping. Um, it's just preference. It's just showing you that you can do it. That's all. Then we have the Blackberry Bliss and we're going to put a butterfly on there. A small one. Just there. Always remember that you're working up from the bottom, so you you know it goes your direction goes that way. So make sure your butterfly isn't like this, uh, but it's the right way up. Okay, so this time we are going to put the inks away. Let me get this one out and let's do some inking. Concentrate on going into the picture because this is going to disappear anyway. I won't be going around all of it. Um, to be honest, I think it might be easier to do this after it's been put together. But just to give you an idea, to make it, I want it to look more sort of rustic and older. See, that makes a, a, a lot, of, a great, um, uh, um, you know, a big difference uh, the way it looks. So we'll have to put it together now. So I've got my double-sided tape again, and we're going to stick this one onto there. So we need some tape on here. Let's remove this bit here. Okay, and we need some tape on the same bit on the other side as well. So there, that's the bit. This is the bit here. And this is the one here. Then you turn it over and this is going to stick on to there. So you need to put tape on those. And 
and we are going to... Oh dear, my neighbours are leaving I think. And we're going to stick some more tape on there. And just let's get some more on there. And some tape here. Anything that's sticking out we can um, adjust that after I've taken off the, um, the backing. Because I'll just fold it double like that. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Um, you can use um, other glue. You can use other tape. I'm just using this one for quickness. And because um, I don't have to cut it. Um, some, you know, like the red tape, you have to cut that. And it sort of leaves a little bit of glue residue behind on my scissors. So they get dirty, then I can't use them anymore for paper, so I have a separate pair for that. But anyway, it's easier for me now to uh, do this like this. Um, you'll find your own way of, of gluing it, I'm sure. Even if you do it the same way, it does keep the boxes well together, this um, double-sided tape. It's very cheap tape from you know a very cheap shop, um, but it's very sticky and I've been using a lot of it so um, it works for me all right so we've taken off all the uh, backing and it's time now to assemble our box so we're going to be folding this one in burnishing it really well so that the, it's stuck down really well. Then we stick this one down making sure that any res uh, leftover tape is folded in and there we go. See? Perfect edge. And we do the same thing again. Push this down and push this in. Same thing again push this down and push this one in. I always make sure there is one of these attached to each uh, side because that then gives gives it sort of a little bit of reinforcement. This is, is just ordinary paper that I get from my local craft shop because it's um, sturdier than the stamping up paper uh, in cream so that's why I like to use it for a box um, quite heavy handed. I made a box with uh, stamping up um, DSP the other day and it, <coughs> it broke on me. Mm. I tore it completely so I need to work with a bit, a little bit thicker cardstock to be able to um, <laughs> to be able not to break the paper. But anyway, here we go. Here's our box ready for a bit more inking and I like to finish my boxes with something on the top so I'm thinking, shall we do some more um, butterflies? Should I stick on some butterflies on there? Or should I stick on some flowers? Um, really, it's up to you. You can, whatever you want to do, if you have something handy. Uh, for example, I have got some paper here. So I might just do some butterflies. Let me just stamp a couple of butterflies. We'll punch them out. And we will stick them on. I have a feeling that this paper was destined for something else, but never mind. Okay, and then we will have the glue, fold them a little bit in, and just stick them on. I don't know which way, that way. Yep. And one here. There we go. So here we are, that's our box. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's very easy to make your box with the Stamping Up uh, gift box punch board. And then I love decorating it because it, it's sort of you've got four sides and you can do it either all the same or not. Um, so, you know, all up to you. You can um, make the edges a little bit old, uh, you can keep the bottom clean. I'm going to edge this a little bit further so it's all uh, a, un a uniform look. But I really like this box and this uh, goes really well with our things that we've made already. So with the car this would be make a great birthday present. Uh, but not only that, um, if you have more cards you could put it all in here. Or if you just have the one card, obviously with the envelope, I've got the envelope here. Um, envelope and then um, you know with the present in there and you could hand it over like this that would be great a great present for someone so um, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye